Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is number 18 video in this series and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure FTP server on Windows Server 2019. So FTP server is basically going to come under the IIS which is web server on 2019. Uh, so we are going to install and configure F FTP server and we'll see how, how we can access the FTP server from our client machine or any client application like FileZilla and how we can use those uh, FTP servers. So FTP servers is basically you can say um, uh, uh, as a, a storage type uh, server where you can store the files and folder based on whatever access you have and you can access from the public side uh, public network internal network as per your FTP design so we are going to see how we can do that and so let's get in so this is our environment in this video how oh, which we are going to use in this demo environment so the first machine is Win2K 19 DC01 which is my active DNS and DNA server you can see uh, uh, IP address of this machine 192.168.0.201 and my domain name is victorinfosol.local so here is this machine so active active DNS and DHCP uh, services is running on this machine and you can see the name of the machine win2k19 dc01 this is my domain name victorinfosol.local and this is my IP address of my domain control 192.168.0.200 so this is my active directory server and next we have our FTP server which is Win2K19 FTP so uh, I have not previsioned this server I have uh, freshly installed one machine and we are going to configure the FTP server from bare so we have this machine here which is brand new I'm going to you can say the virtual machine name is Win2K19 FTP and we are going to configure this machine so this is bare machine we'll do it and the da last which we have our client machine from where we are going to access the FTP server and we are going to validate the FTP uh, sites so this is win, uh, win 10 CL01 so here is this machine you can see this is joined in my domain and uh, dot local, and I have logged in with uh, victorinfosol.0 user and on this machine we have installed FileZilla client as well to uh, check the connect to the FTP server and check how we can uh, see the files and upload and download the files from the FTP server so let's get started so I'm going to first uh, rename this uh, server and join this machine in our victorinfosol.local domain so I'm going to configure the IP address as per plan here which is going to be 192.168.0.202 so I'm going to disable IPv6 and IPv4 192.168.0.202 and subnet mask is going to be 24 bits and I'm going to give default gateway and the DNS preferred DNS of my um, active directory server and this is my going to be alternative is going to be my router address so now it's connected and we are good and now I'm going to join this machine in domain so I'm going to rename this when 2 k 19 FTP and then going to type my domain name here victorinfosol dot local and I'm going to type the password here administrator my password for administrator account to join this machine and domain so welcome to victimfasol.local domain this is good so now I'm going to restart this server so post the restart this machine is going to be joining domain and we are able to log in from the domain account so I'm going to open my active directory users and computers from my active directory server and going to move this FTP server in correct OU in servers OU because by default it's going to be under this computer so I'm going to move it to servers here so now I have moved this in servers so we have our FTP server ready and 
join in domain and ready for installation of FTP server so I'm going to log in as a victim info sole administrator in this and you can log in as a service account or your uh, um, AD user account which have administrative rights on this server FTP server to install FTP role so I'm going to log in as an administrator so now let's wait for server manager to open now let's verify the domain name computer name went to can in FTP and domain we have joined and IP address is configured so this machine is uh, ready for now to install the FTP role so I'm going to click on from the dashboard of server manager manage and add role and features and then I'm going to click next and role business solution because this is going to become under IIS so click next and the server or server FTP server and select click next and then we are going to select web servers IIS and add required features and from features phase we don't require anything from here so click next and now from web uh, it's going to give you idea what is IIS and what is you can use by using IIS so click next and you can see it's going to be install IIS version 10 with enhanced security on uh, server 2019 so this is good click next and now you can see all the required roles uh, features has been automatically selected so I'm going to focus on FTP so I'm going to install FTP server and it's automatically going to install FTP services so FTP services enable, enable FTP publishing on web server and this is going to be your FTP servers which allow FTP client to uh, users can establish connection and everything so I'm going to click next and then we are going to install this so FTP installation does not require any reboot so post the installation we are good to go so for now I'm going to create one root folder here in my C drive called FTP root and also I'm going to create one um, uh, Active Directory group to give users access to my FTP server so I'm going to create new group security group basically and call it FTP hyphen access and I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to add all my users to whom I want to give access to my um, FTP site so I'm going to add my users here so I'm going to select my all users 01205 and then apply so we have created a, a access group which is FTP access and I, I have added my requested users here which is going to get access to FTP server so this is good and we have created folder also FTP root folder where we are going to store the FTP files now installation is succeeded you can see installation succeeded so we can go ahead and close this and now by default from tools we can launch the uh, information service man manager and from here by default you can see one uh, website is going to be pub, uh, created which is default website and if you go here and browse this site you will be able to see the FTP uh, IS installation is completed on this machine and you will get the IS page if you browse this you can see here we got the IS page so this is good Our installation is succeeded and now we can go ahead on sites and since we have added the FTP role so we got this add FTP site so I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to uh, give the site name you can say FTP main and physical path where you are going to store the physical uh, uh, look uh, data of this file so I'm going to save in FTP root and I'm going to this FTP main so this is going to be a site name and this is going to be our physical path for uh, FTP site so click next and then uh, which IP address you want to bind so I'm, I am having only one NIC so I'm going to bind that uh, and if you have a public IP address assigned to uh, NIC, a dedicated NIC for FTP you can assign bind to that net also 
if you want to uh, uh, like have a secure connection with SSL you can allow that uh, so this is demo so I'm going to not going to with the SSL and F start FTP site automatically whenever server is going to reboot so click next and then as I said to whom you want to access if you are going to give anonymous access it's going to allow everyone to author without authentication to get the access to the um, FTP site so I'm going to allow basic and access um, allow users to so I'm going to specify roles uh, specified roles or user group so I'm going to type my group called which we have created FTP access and I'm going to give it read and write permission so click finish and now you can see our site is created and you can uh, if later on also you can go here and change the setting you can see the basic authentication is enabled which is built in uh, you can see to whom we have allowed the roles and what type of um, permissions we allowed if you want to allow anyone else you can go here and add the users like this way user 01 user 02 you can also specify the groups and you can also deny if you wish to deny any users to get the access to FTP server then you have uh, FTP sessions you can monitor from here concurrent se current sessions everything is there so now the installation is done now it's time to verify so I'm going here on my Windows 10 client machine and I'm going to type my IP address of my FTP server 192.168 or 0.202 and username I'm going to give user 01 and I'm going to type the password for user 01 and going to uh, click on quick connect and then it's going to give you option to save so if you wish to save the password you can type the master password repeat password then it's going to save so I'm going to click OK and then it's going to say like um, this server does not support FTP over TSL secure connection because we have not allowed any um, certificate so that's okay I'm going to click on okay and now we got the access you can see the remote folder so now I can create folder here like user 01 test and we can get in and if you wish we can create files like I'm going to create user 01 hi there this is FTP test and we can close this and then we, uh, we can upload this uh, text file to FTP server also so I'm going to right click then going to upload so you can see upload finished and we got our FTP files uploaded to FTP server and if you want to verify on FTP server you can go on FTP server on the physical path of this folder so under the FTP root you will see the folder is created and the file is also created which we have just created so this is good so FTP is working from the filezilla and if uh, you want to connect directly with the windows without any filezilla client or any FTP client you can go here and add you know my computer uh, you can add a network location and then uh, you got the wizard you can create a shortcut of website FTP site or other network location so I'm going to choose this and then I'm going to type the FTP server IP address 192.168.0.202 and then you can click next oops we need to type here um, FTP back back click next and then you can see uh, login type so we have to type here user 01 and click next and then type the name of network share what you want to map so if you want to wish to change the name you, you can change it so uh, when you are going to click here it's going to f uh, open the shortcut so now if I type here password and save password and login you can see I can access this folder now from my uh, this computer also so you can anytime you can go here and see if you wish you can rename here like FTP uh, main website you can rename it and you can double click and you can go and browse whatever data is there so 
So this is how you can uh, access the FTP server from FileZilla or from, uh, without any client. So, and also I have showed you how how you can install and configure FTP server in this video. So this is all about how to install and configure FTP server on Windows Server 2019. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this video, you can always post to me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.